Hi everyone. Today we're going to be doing a statistics question, a grade 12 statistics question. It's from the grade 12 November 2021 IEB final paper, so mathematics paper 2 final. So first we're just going to start off with some calculator stuff. So here I have the FX991ZA+. plus. So your calculator might be a bit different, uh, but hopefully the functions are the same. All right, so first quick introduction. Over here, we're gonna press mode up here. So the default mode is this mode one, comp, composite. Okay, this is the default mode, but today we're gonna be doing statistics. So we're gonna press mode and we're gonna go mode three, statistics. Okay, so there's a lot going on here, but let's not get alarmed. Let's first go to our question. Okay, so we have this table over here. So we have time spent in minutes. This is our X column, okay? And then down here we have money spent Y in rands. Okay, so X is just how long people spend at this clothing store and Y is the money they spent on their visit. Okay, and we see in question A, we're gonna to have to use our calculator, which we got set up, to determine the equation for the line of best fit in the form of, over here, y equals a plus bx. Okay, and our answer is gonna to have to be three decimal places. But if we look at this first part over here, and if we look at our calculator, we'll see that this a plus bx part is this option over here, number two. So we can just press number two, and then we get this table. We get an X column and a Y column. And that X and Y column just corresponds to what we have over here. So we have this, this is our X column over here. And this is our Y column. So all I'm gonna do is just fill in the values over here. So our X column. So it's a bit confusing here because we're using this X column, but we're gonna be using these, these X values over here to fill in our column. Okay, so just bear with me here. So X, we're gonna put 27 as our first entry, 41 for our second entry, 45 for our third, 51, 60, 53, and 35. Okay, so here, if you look on the calculator, we have seven entries. Okay, so there should be seven total entries. And if we check over here, we should see that we got Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we haven't missed anything. Now, we need to be doing the exact same, but now just with our Y entries. Okay, so I'm gonna go down here, go to Y, put 400, 630, 700, 1,040, 1,200, 870, and 745. Okay, that's all our data filled in. All right, so that was the first part of the statistics question. We got to fill in the, the data in our calculator. So now we can press AC and you'll see we're still in stat mode, okay? But again, if we look at the question, we need to do, oops, wrong color. We need to be putting it in this format. Okay, why? we need the line of best fit. That's Y equals AX plus, A, sorry, plus BX. All right, so if you, Look at the calculator again. You'll see here at the bottom left, in yellow we have stat slash dist, okay? So we're gonna use this to get some extra features out of our stats mode, okay? So we're gonna go shift stat, okay? Cause it's in yellow, so we have to press the yellow shift. One, and here we go. So we got type, data, and some other things, okay? So again, we can press two and check out our data. So you can edit your data if you made a mistake by doing this. But we can also go shift one, whoopsie. We need to exit our data, then do shift one. And now we need to think. So we need to do the line of best fit. So that has got to do with regression. So number five is REG for regression. So we need to press five here. And we get some more things we can find out, okay? So the question again is asking for A plus BX. So in the calculator, we first need to find our A. So we're gonna press A over there and then press equals. And this is our A. So what we got going for us is we write the Y is equal to, 
we're going to put our A that we just found. Remember to three decimal places because that's what the question is asking over here. Three decimal places. So minus 160, comma, 6, 4, 5. Okay. And then our plus. So just like we've done this for A, we're going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to press AC. We're going to do shift 1 for our stat. We're going to go to 5 for regression. And now we're just going to find B. So I press 2. There's my B. I press equals. I find out what it is. And I find that it's 21, 505. And then I just finish off with this X and X over there. Okay, so this is the answer over here. So double check, three decimal places, we've rounded to three decimal places. So it's, we're all good. Okay, now for question B, it says predict how much an individual would spend if they were in the clothing store for 90 minutes. Give your answer to two decimal places, two decimal places. Okay, so they're asking about spend. How much money is spent? So if we look here, Y is related to money spent. So what we're actually going to do is just use this equation over here, right? Because we know we have to find the money spent, which is this Y. And we have this time here, 90 minutes. And we know our X is our time. So all we're going to do is use this equation above. We don't know the Y because we have to predict it. Okay, but we do know the X. They've given the X to be 90 minutes. So this is our X, let me write this here. Okay, so we just need to be solving for Y. Okay, so what we're gonna have is Y is equal to go minus 160, comma, 645, plus 21, comma, 505. And then now with this X, they said this was our time spent, 90 minutes. So I'm just gonna plug in 90 over here and just double check this time is given in minutes. So this time would be in minutes and this time would have to be in minutes over here that we're just about to put in. And they have given us in minutes, so we're all good over there. Then we just put 90 in there. Okay, so we're gonna put this in our calculator. Okay, so we put all of that in our calculator, we press equals and we find that the money spent is equal to this value over here, 1,774 comma 81. Remember, 81 because it's two decimal places. Okay, good, let's move over to the next question. So in question C, they say, is your prediction in question B a reliable one? Explain. So this time that they gave us 90 minutes, it relates to our X over here. And we see that the highest time spent is nine, sorry, is 60 minutes. So this 90 actually falls outside the range. So it's outside of this range of our line of best fit. So the word for that is extrapolation. Extrap extrapolation like this extrapolation okay that's not too neat i'm using my mouse sorry about that but it's extrapolation okay so we we know now that we are extrapolating and what do we know about extrapolation let's have a look at the, the question we need to decide is the prediction a reliable one because remember that 90 is outside the data range so we need to think, is extrapolation a reliable prediction? And we can argue here that extrapolation is not a reliable, a reliable prediction. And the reason for that is again, as I've said, we're outside the range, so we're extrapolating. So it is not that reliable. And I say here, explain. So you, need, you can't just say it's extrapolation, you would have to explain how the extrapolation is outside the data range and it can be unreliable. The next part of the question, they ask for the correlation coefficient. And again, to three decimal places. So the correlation coefficient is given by R. So we need to solve for R. 
So if we look back to what we have been using, we've been using regression. So we go shift one, and again, we've been using regression, that's how we found the A and the B. So we're gonna use regression again, and you'll see there option three is R. So we just press three, and we press equals. And that's just that easy, that is our R. We just gotta make sure we put it to three decimal places. So we say R is equal to zero, that's a terrible zero, zero, comma, nine, one, two. So that's our final answer over there. Now what we need to do is we need to use our correlation coefficient, which is our R, which we just solved. And what that suggests about the relationship between the time spent in the clothing store and the money spent by an individual. So essentially what they're asking for is what is the relationship between these two, these things here. So what is the relationship between time spent and money spent in this clothing store? So I'm gonna write our R here again. Don't have to do this, I'm just, so we know what it is. It's also in the top right. But our R was 0, 0,912 and this was positive. Okay. So what we need to be doing is we need to be saying what is the relationship? So we know it's positive. So we know that there's a positive relationship with these two. Okay, but what we also need to be doing is we need to use this table over here. Let me just move the camera for a second. We need to be using this table. Okay, so this table tells us what the strength of the correlation is, if it's perfect, very strong, etc. So we'll see that we fall in to this bracket over here. Because our R, which we've sold over here, our R, is bigger than 0, 0,9, it's 0, 0,912. And that tells us the relationship is very strong. But we also know it's positive over here, it's positive. So what we're gonna write is that it's a very strong positive whoopsie, correlation, or relationship, we could use either word here, correlation or relationship, this word over here, we could use either one. Okay, and that's how we answered this question. So that was just a very basic stats video for you. I hope it was helpful, and I wish you guys all the best if you're writing June exams at the moment. Thanks guys, bye.